How's the, uh, you know, we're, I'm sitting there talking about uh, freeze warnings here across the uh, Bay Area. Yeah, it's... I heard that. And that's kind of funny. Huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, because I'm sure you're already freezing where you are. Yeah, perspective is uh, a little bit different. I think uh, we warmed up to 23 degrees this morning. Warmed up to 23 degrees. Well, that's yeah. nice. You know, up from Monday morning when I came in, it was negative 11. Jeez. Negative 11. How are you dealing with that, man? You're a Florida boy. You adapt, man. It's awesome. It's just, you know, it's, uh, I never thought I'd be able to do it, but, you know, it's, I don't work outside. If I worked outside, it'd be absolutely horrendous here, but, you know, it's, it's good. It's all fun. All right. Well, uh, oh, oh, let's talk about, uh, wait a second here. I'm hitting buttons that I don't need to be hitting. Do, do, there we go. <laughs> That's what stick, she said. Yeah, let's just stick with that button right there. All right, Eric Stratman from uh, TNL Nutrition Coaching. How you doing this morning, sir? Good, man, good. You? Good. I, uh, I'm i doing all right, man. I'm looking forward to this uh, freeze. It's uh, getting ready to roll through the uh, area here. Excellent. All right, so let's talk about uh, what you're talking to your clients about this week, uh, the third week in January, people trying to start, uh, you know, lifestyle changes, um, you know, get back into the gym, all that good stuff. And I would imagine it's probably about right now, too, that you really start to see that first wave of people fall off. Yeah, yeah. We're, uh, you know, we're getting, actually, we're starting to get our waves in. You know, it, it's, it's always been my experience that I try to push people about this time to start it because they have probably done and failed on their own by now. So with our programming, now we get to say, okay, well, this is time to step it up. You've been logging a little bit. You're kind of failing on your own. Uh, and now it's the time to say, well, let's buckle down and really try to start hitting our numbers, not just logging our food. And that becomes that challenge because one of the challenges we're releasing right now is lose 10 pounds, up to 10 pounds in 10 days. And people hear that and they're like, oh, wow, I'd love to do that. Well, as soon as you log your nutrition and start hitting your numbers, everybody loses anywhere between three and seven pounds in that first week. So you're already well on your way to that 10. And that's why we say up to not everybody even has 10 pounds to lose, but they want to, you know, they want to hit that number. But as soon as you start logging your nutrition and you get seven, 10 days consistently hitting your number, that weight just starts falling off because your metabolism regulates and you're on fire and burning some uh, calories. Can I, we, I t- we talk about uh, uh, one of the things that's been in the news the past couple of years, and that is uh, people going gluten-free. Um, and it, it, and I, I don't know if you can put this uh, in better perspective for me because it seems like what I'm reading, uh, most things are saying people should not be going gluten-free unless you have celiac disease or something similar. And if you are trying, it, it, this, this, this trend, this fat is not good for you. What, the gluten-free fat? Yeah. It's not good for you? Unless you have celiacs. Well, I don't know. Can you help me? You know, know, it's interesting about that. I mean, we all have some level of allergy to gluten and to grains because it's uh, it's one of those things that's very hard for your body to process. It's very... uh, a very high complex carbohydrate. So you're, as your body breaks it down and boosts your blood sugar and your insulin level, which we talked about insulin before, that it's a storage hormone. So as soon as you start uh, boosting your insulin, your body is signaled to store everything you're eating. So um, what I encourage people to do, whether they believe it or not, you know, on the irritation for celiacs, because obviously those people absolutely cannot have gluten right. or there's, you know, bad consequences, is try going gluten-free for 30 days. There's so many good options out there, uh, and it's, you know, pretty simple. I mean, it's really staying away from bread and some cereals, and that's it. It's not, you know, and when you take those processed carbohydrates out of your diet anyway, you're already ahead of the game in keeping your insulin low and burning more calories and being more efficient with your blood sugar and your insulin. Is uh, is gluten-free and carb-free, no carbs, the same thing? No, no. So gluten-free, gluten is a protein that's found mainly in grains with some other ingredients, um, but it is uh, definitely not the same. So you can, I mean, there's every bread and cereal, pizza, you name it, that's a gluten-free option, but they're definitely not free of carbohydrates. It's still carbohydrates uh, that you're getting, you know. So if you're having your oatmeal, there's a gluten-free option. There's a, you know, uh, gluten-enriched. And, uh, you know, as I miss, uh, my wife and I were talking about this the other day, 
uh, she pulled out and found a, a coupon for Mellow Mushroom. Mm. And that place is yummy. <laughs> and Do you they, miss the Mellow Mushroom? They, and they promote gluten-enriched dough, you know, and nobody really knows what that is. It's just really it gives the elasticity to dough and allows the binding process to be a lot easier. That's why when you see gluten-free stuff, it's either really hard or it falls apart easily because that binding agent's not there. So now, you know, you'll find companies that either do gluten-enriched or something that, you know, obviously they're going gluten-free. But I encourage everybody to try anything, and it has to be 30 days. It can't be three days because when you completely evacuate it out of your system, then you're able to see, well, this is the results my body's getting from it, or this is, do I feel any better? And you typically don't realize how good you feel with those things out of your system until you reintroduce it. So go gluten-free for a month and then go to Mellow Mushroom and tell me how your stomach really? feels and how you know how you slept that day and where your energy's at. It makes all the difference in the world. Now, uh, are there things, you've been doing this a very long time, um, are... Are there things that frustrate you um, about your own clients? You know, year in and year out, you're seeing the same kinds of things that you're having to uh, harp on. It's the, you know, and it's probably my favorite saying I hear in the gym or through nutrition is I can't. Well, you can. I mean, you're eating every single day. Uh, I have, uh, you know, somebody here locally that, you know, it's really a health issue now for him and uh he's so overweight it could you know i mean it could mean a heart attack for him and he's got two young kids uh and he's like well you know it's it's tough i'm on the run i'm like but you still stop to eat so just log it and let's see let's stop putting you know you got those blinders on like oh i hope it i hope i do better i hope i get healthier but it's really just cutting the crap and saying my health means more to me than that Um, And that's where we really try to emphasize that piece of find a motivator that is outside yourself. Is it your wife? Is it your kids? Is it parents? Is it your dog? Whatever. What do you want to be the best version of you for and focus on that for your results? When it comes to uh, guys like that, do you ever talk to them about uh, mental health, about going to see a professional saying, obviously, you're using food where you should be using antidepressants or anti-anxiety stuff. This is where your food comes in. You need to go to talk to someone. We need to have have a comprehensive um, approach to your health. Yes, there is. Uh, or do you just uh, yell at him? Do you, are you the psychiatrist? Do you just yell at him and say, screw you, you can do this? Well, it's typically resolved with this. A big open hand slap. <laughs> All right, you're old school. You're old like, school when it comes to... you suck. <laughs> Quit your belly aching. No, right. I mean, not that people don't need that because they do. But, again, it, it's really putting in perspective. We're trying to resolve a habit that people have had for 25, 35, 45, 55 years of eating a certain way, of consuming whatever they want. So I put that in the back of their mind that it, you know, and I encourage you the same thing, is that don't think we're gonna fix this in three weeks. It didn't take three weeks to get into this habit. So it's okay, we have bumps in the road and you'll always hear that consistently average Trump seldom perfection. If we're hitting and we're doing okay, that's okay. Okay is better than not doing it at all because you're going to get some result. And then when you start to see the state, the scale and the measurements ticking down a little and then there's a different motivator, then you talk about the mental health side, we show people, oh, there is results. I can do a little bit better. And then they start logging a little bit more, getting a little more consistent, maybe food prepping a little bit. Or, you know, there's uh, so many of the companies now that are uh, there that, uh, actually do prepared meals that are pretty cheap. When I was in Tampa, um, uh, I used uh, Cater Fit, and they would deliver meals twice a week right to my house. And it could be three meals a day, one meal, however many I want, and, and they would do it on, like, Sunday nights and Wednesday nights, and it would be enough food for the next two, three, four days, depending on how much I ordered. You know, and some people look at those services and say, well, man, that's really expensive. And when you look at the amount of time that it takes you to prepare your own meal or the, t- the money you're spending to go through a drive through or go out to lunch every day, it, it really is a, uh, a much better investment in yourself. 
All right. Thank you so much, Eric Stratman from uh, TNL Nutrition Coaching. You have a one. Hey, before we uh, – can you just give us another look around that, uh, g- that beautiful new gym of yours? Yeah, well, this is actually the facility here. You know, this thing's uh, no God, joke so cool. in here. But if I could get out here and I'll run out here real quick. This is the uh, the beauty of – you can see it's all dark because uh, – well, because it's early. Everybody's, yeah, you see a little turf. But well, watch this here now. We're going to go. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Good this for you, This place man. is sick. That is. You know, and above me, you can't even see that, is there's a ton of batting cages. There's a track that goes all the way around this place. It's kind of tough to see because we got this net in the front of it. Yeah, this place is no joke. So do you have, uh, you know, tournaments come in there and whatnot, too, and use that facility? Yeah, yeah. So we get, uh, I mean, it's baseball, soccer, lacrosse, uh, Nerf guns, dodgeball, you name it. This is, I mean, it's it's awesome. we got to get you guys up here to, to come visit no this. No kidding. But this place is legit. And for us up here, when it's 20 degrees outside, this is perfect. and then you're, uh, you know, this isn't something you see every day in Florida, or really any day. It's a, you know, when you go outside and you're like, hey, how's our parking lot looking? And there's a tractor plowing <laughs> your parking lot because you have a crap ton of snow outside. Uh, it is pretty picturesque. I'm going to walk outside. Oh, it's chilly. Yeah, I bet. But you can see that these guys are killing it out here. But we can give you guys some uh, some views on things that uh, you don't really get to see every day in, uh, you know, in Florida. But it's... Uh, you know, it's a beautiful scene when it's snow, but, man, it is freaking cold. Woo! I bet. All right, man. We'll get it back in there and warm the uh, cockles, and we'll, <laughs> we'll talk to you next week. All right, guys. Have a good one. God bless. Derek.